Thanks for tuning in to our second video on about how to lower potassium naturally. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath and nutritionist from HealthyKidneyInc.com. And in this second video, we're gonna talk about leaching or boiling and also sodium bicarbonate and how these two things can help lower potassium. Now in the first video, I talk about other ways to lower potassium, so you can look at that. In this video, we're gonna talk about leaching, which is essentially boiling, boiling your vegetables. And it's usually referred to potatoes to help lower the potassium content. And you would boil them for anywhere from 10 minutes and then there's something called a double boil where you would take the potatoes or other vegetables out, rinse them off, let them cool, and you can boil them again. And that'll really help lower potassium count. This is generally referred to when it comes to potatoes, but you can do it with any vegetable. The problem is your vegetables get pretty mushy and it's not something that people enjoy. So it tends to be used mostly for potatoes. Now the second thing you can do to lower Potassium and help keep potassium in a better balance is using sodium bicarbonate, the great alkalizer. And you can read a lot about sodium bicarbonate and how it's good for your kidney health throughout the internet. Now, what it does when it comes to potassium, it helps draw that potassium out of cells and then allows your body to naturally process it and get rid of it. And aside from just that, sodium bicarbonate has a lot of great other benefits for, for kidney health in the body. So, like I said, it's something that's a lot of information out there. You can take a look at that. If you decide to use sodium bicarbonate, you have the option of powder, tablets, or what's called enteric coated or delayed release capsules. So, with the first two, the tablets and the powder, powder, baking soda, also sodium bicarbonate, a little hard to get down, doesn't taste uh, good, and you want to do it between meals. That's one of the keys, because if you don't do it between meals, you can run a greater risk of throwing off some of your stomach acid, throwing off your indigestion or throwing off your digestion, causing indigestion. So something to be mindful of. Uh, if you get enteric code or delayed release, you can take those at any time. And most of that sodium bicarbonate actually goes to helping you then, as opposed to some of it getting neutralized by stomach acid. So those are two, two ways, in addition to our other videos, other things on our channel that you can lower potassium with naturally. And stay tuned, we got one more video in this series and it's really gonna blow the lid off of a natural supplement that you can take even if you didn't wanna do any of these other dietary things that'll help lower your potassium that has lots of evidence, lots of research, a lot of data to support it. So coming soon, check out other things that we offer on Healthy Kidney Inc, our channel. Like, subscribe, go to our website at healthykidneyinc.com. Thank you for watching everybody, bye.